Well, West Michigan, we have some light wintry mix for you this morning as uh, still can run into some slick spots out on the roadways, but there's no winter weather advisory, nothing like that going on with this and the brunt of it moving through throughout your morning hours. So this started overnight. Now it's already focusing towards Lansing, I-94, Kalamazoo area, Portage, Marshall, Battle Creek, as any of those blues and purples, that's more of the snow switch over, but we can see some of that rain to sleet to snow, more of a wet slushy snow. So this can give you a very light coating out on the roadways could give you some slick spots on your morning commute. This little pressure system though will continue to move south and east throughout the day as we could hold on to a light flurry or rain drizzle into the afternoon. We'll be drying out more and more as the day goes on. You can see this pushing out throughout the morning, leaving us then with that light drizzle or mist for the afternoon and mainly dry and quiet and cloudy. Later on this evening, temperature wise, we're in the lower to upper 30s. A little bit of a breeze out there this morning. The strength in our winds will be around for our morning hours. And then as you take a look at your Tuesday bus stop planner, those winds will calm down and temperatures will push into the upper 30s. So still above average for the day today. Overnight tonight will be dry. 32 degrees is what we'll settle back into, and we're going to be dry really for the foreseeable future, going into a very calm and quiet pattern, but still very warm. And we've had rain chances in the past week or so, warm temperatures in the past week or so, and that has led to melting snowpack, some ice jams, and all of our flooding concerns. So there's a flood warning until Sunday at the Grand River in Comstock Park. Definitely need to be aware if you're around that area. And also a flood warning until further notice for Maple River at Maple. Ridge. So two areas we're really keeping an eye on and we're just watching our river levels for the entire week. Many of you near flood stage, a few at minor flooding. So something that uh, we can continue to see with those warm temperatures going nowhere fast. We're going to stay dry and quiet though. Cloudy tomorrow and even cloudy on Thursday as we keep this warmth. But Friday, finally, we'll start to see some breaks and get better sunshine chances Friday and through the weekend. Here's the next couple of days for you. 40 degrees tomorrow, 44 on Thursday, 39 on Friday when we start to bring on more and more of our better sunshine chances. As yesterday, we only saw six minutes of sunshine, so we're doing our best. We're going to hopefully improve that over the weekend and look at these temps in the lower 40s. We should be in the lower 30s this time of year and the warmth it's going to stick around the next 8 to 14 days climate prediction center puts us in those above average temperatures keeping us in this winter warmth through now february 12th